So as most of you know, the Lush Showcase has been going on this weekend. I do believe today is the last day of it. And I have just been on Instagram, just hashtag Lush Showcase 2018, trying to find just like what's been going on, what for new things people are seeing. I have been following Lush a lot's Instagram, which has been so fun seeing everything that she is up to. She seems to be having such an awesome time. And I also have seen some really awesome pictures from an Instagram user called Snaps of Lush. So I will be popping up some pictures of just some different Instagram pictures that I wanted to share with you guys. So underneath in my description, I will have links to everybody's Instagram that I have taken pictures from so you can follow them and go see for yourself uh, the pictures that they are taking. And also if you have gone to the showcase and you have your own pictures, your own um, YouTube videos or anything like that that we can see, then leave your Instagram, your YouTube channel, uh, whatever uh, social medias that you are using to uh, post up your pictures and videos down in my comments so that we can take a look. But yeah, this video is just going to be kind of like popping up some pictures of the things that everyone is seeing so we can just kind of take a look and see what it has been going on over at the showcase. So obviously the first thing that interests me the most is bath bombs and there have been a lot of new bath bombs and I do believe some of these um, are mostly exclusives. So the chances of us seeing them probably isn't too good for the most part, uh, but we can always keep our fingers crossed that, you know, maybe they'll you know, sneak some up on like a Lush Labs sometime or you know what I mean, just I always cross my fingers that we will see something from the showcase come out for like everyone to buy. So in no particular order as far as the bath bombs that I was seeing, the first one is called Kitsune and that literally means fox in Japanese. <laughs> However, like the bath bombs to me, <laughs> they remind me of like croissants or something. They just remind me of like a bakery <laughs> item. So I don't fully understand that. And I don't have like scent descriptions really of anything. So I can't say for sure like what they smell like. I wish that we could order from Japan. I think you can order from Japan, but you have to go through some sort of like mail career system. I think it costs a lot of money to um, actually be able to purchase anything off of the Japanese uh, Lush website. So yeah, otherwise I would totally be doing it. Next is a bath bomb called Holder. And I really like the look of this one. It's interesting. And I did like Google a lot of like words and pronunciations and stuff because I have no idea like what any of it means. But a holder is a seductive forest creature in Scandinavian folklore. So that's really interesting. Um, I would love to take a smell of that. I'd like to see what, what scent that is. A seductive forest creature bath bomb. There's one called Black Rose, which is so pretty. I would love, 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 love to see this one available for everyone, especially because I hear it is the Rose Jam scent, which I'm such a fan of. And I don't know, I thought like just looking at this and everything, I was like, wow, this would have been like a perfect Halloween bath bomb in my opinion. It just is very like, gothic looking and yeah, I would have loved to see that for Halloween. All right, there is one. Oh my goodness. Let's see if I can pronounce this. Tadaima Okairi. O Okairi. Todaima Okairi. If I'm pronouncing that in any way, um it's supposed to mean welcome home and I'm home in Japanese. So I, I don't know if I pronounce any of that uh, accurately or anything like that. There is also one called Harajuku, which is a very pretty vibrant color. And Harajuku is a city in Japan and you know, they're known for their just vibrant colors and their fashion and everything like that. And we've all seen, you know, Gwen Stefani kind of really made that come to America kind of thing. She really brought all of that back when she did her whole Harajuku thing and it's just so awesome. 
I have before just like Google searched images, just put in Harajuku and just the pictures. They're just so fun to look at. So freaking fun to look at. So if you don't have anything else to do, just do that sometime. And it's just, it's amazing. I absolutely love it. There is a bath bomb called Royalty, which is shaped like a crown. I... I did read somewhere that it had the golden slumber scent possibly and then someone else had said butterball so I am not sure as far as the scent of that but it's so freaking pretty and again it would just be so awesome to see these bath bombs come to either like the Lush UK site or you know anything that we could possibly like get a chance to buy them like Japan is getting like all of these amazing bath bombs and it's like oh my gosh just give us some like even a handful anything like oh I would just love it then there is the goddess bath bomb which was inspired by Ariana Grande and that one is so freaking pretty I liked the uniqueness of it as far as there being kind of like a hollow out point on it it's just interesting it's something different it's not like your typical round bath bomb there's just like a symmetrical like look to it that's just different and interesting so that one is absolutely gorgeous and then there were these really large bath bombs and I remember seeing a picture on I don't know what lush Instagram account it was on um and then we finally I you know saw these pictures of these bath bombs that are at the showcase and they're just these really large like super duper big bath bombs um they're calling them bombshells and they have different ones there's a floral milk there's also a herbal green tea a seaweed as well as a citrus and basically like the concept of them you could pick fresh flowers and just like fresh ingredients to like stick in the hollowed out center of the bath bomb so when you you know put it in the water like your flowers would pop out or your seaweed or your dried fruit or whatever you know based on what scent of bath bomb I guess you chose and then it also looked like in the pictures they were kind of like wrapped in like a twine kind of um string to you know hold it all together um so it would like you know make like a cute unique gift since you're actually like choosing I guess like what goes in it so I don't know if that was just made for the showcase or if that's something like maybe they're gonna think about you know bringing out or what I have no idea however um looking at the prices on there the price of it I'm not sure what the price was in pounds but I looked at the um the currency equivalent and it was it would have retailed for $24.88 if you had purchased it in US dollars so $24 for a bath bomb that's kind of outrageous um but yeah I'd probably still pay it just to experience it just to be able to use it one time like you know I just I have to do it so yeah I don't know if that you know we'll, we will ever see that kind of thing but it's interesting it's a very interesting concept and I could imagine something like that being at a lush shop that you have these um what were they a floral an herbal a seaweed and a citrus at like a lush shop and then you had like a little thing of you know flowers you could pick from or um like seaweed and stuff like that that you could like pack your own into the bath bomb and that kind of thing like I could imagine that you know doing that in a shop and I think people would really like that especially if they planned on giving it as a gift as like something special considering the price on it um but you know no idea if we would ever see such a thing but I could picture it I also saw a lot of different mouthwash tabs and I'm just gonna go through the ones that I saw pictures of. There might be more, I don't know. Um, the first one is a gin and tonic mouthwash tab that has juniper berry, coriander, and lime peel in it. That sounds pretty good. There's one called Palma Violets, and I had to look that up. Apparently, it is a British confectionery, like candy. Never had one before, so I don't know exactly like what it tastes like or anything like that, um, but it sounds good. I'm assuming it's like a candied violet taste. So that sounds interesting to me. 
There's one called Zing, which is pink grapefruit and pink Himalayan salt. There is one called Kumi, which is coconut oil, sea salt, and cucumber. And I had to look up what Kumi uh, was, and it is Mongolian throat singing. So that one's probably good for when you're like your throat is just maybe like irritated because I can imagine that throat singing would really like, you know, make your vocal cords feel kind of wonky after a while. So that's interesting. Um, there was also one called Gospels, which was myrrh, rose, and ger geranium. Also, there was supposed to be grape in that. That sounds really good too. So um, again, with all of these things, I don't know if we will ever see them come out available, um, you know, in our Lush shops or anything like that. This is just things that they have brought out and, you know, probably going to some markets in some parts of the world, but probably not all. And then I also saw a picture of sleepy toothy tabs. <laughs> the people seem to really be obsessed with sleepy. So this did not surprise me that they came out with sleepy toothy tabs. And I I'm assuming they're just kind of like a sweet uh, lavender taste. Uh, I don't know how I feel about using that as a um, toothpaste. Uh, you know, it might, it might be okay. I would, I would at least try it. <laughs> there was something called a strawberry rip off body mask. I have no idea what that means exactly. It sounds kind of scary, uh, a rip off. It's not R-I-P, it's W-R-I-P. So I'm not quite sure what that is. It looks interesting, but I'm not I don't, I don't know anything about it. So if anyone that was there and saw it can like comment and like, you know, maybe explain to us a little more as to, you know, what these products that you saw really were and stuff like that. There were things called hair marshmallows. I was seeing pictures of which sound really interesting and it seems like people were saying they were very lightweight, which makes sense because marshmallows really don't weigh much. They're very like springy and lightweight. So they are some sort of shampoo and they had different ones and I'll just go down the ones of the pictures that I saw. Uh, there was one called Mint Condition and then reading the little descriptions, I kind of tried to you know, figure out which one is good for what. So mint condition looks like it's good to stimulate hair growth. Uh, there's one called the black stuff, which looks like it's for fine hair, which I need. <laughs> um, there's one called Mr. Citrus, which seems to be good for cleansing and balancing oil production. So I guess like if you uh, tend, to, tend to get oily, an oily scalp, then that one would probably be good for you. There is one called Mon Monroe, which would be good for blondes. And then one called Will-O-The-Wisp, which seems to be for volume and thickness. So those are really interesting. It would be awesome to see them come out even in like, you know, a Lush Labs release or something so we could try them. Yeah, they just, it seems really interesting. And that's one of the things about like the showcase and seeing the pictures that come back and everything like that. Just like the new products that they're inventing. That is just really fun to see. Then there was also a lot of hair care products I was seeing pictures of. There was a mainstream hair and beard cream. So a, you know, combo kind of thing you can use on your beard or in your hair. There was something called a punk wallop matte hair clay. So something, you know, more for styling, probably like shorter styles, getting that spikiness and everything like that. There was a shield hair serum, which seems to be a heat protectant spray. Like if you were to use, um, you know, straight irons and curling irons and things like that, just to protect your hair from heat damage. There was a hairspray called Hairdresser's Husband. That's interesting, a hairspray. And there was also a calm down scalp milk, I guess, for maybe um, if you have just scalp issues, like, you know, itchy scalp and stuff like that. So that's interesting. And there was a sunny day anti-static hair detangler. 
that sounds interesting as well like my hair is pretty fine but I get tangles so easily considering how fine my hair is so I would definitely be interested in trying that out no drought naked dry shampoo now no drought you can buy as like a powder it comes in you know like a little bottle but this one is the naked version so there have been some new naked version stuff I was seeing pictures of there was also something called something about rosemary solid naked hair gel that sounds so crazy like a, a naked solid hair gel like it just doesn't seem like something that would ever be invented kind of thing because you know what hair gel consistency is like that's just the consistency of hair gel right but no they made they made it into a solid form so I don't use hair gel but I'm like really curious as to like what that would feel like considering just like what we're used to hair gel feeling like there was a Soya brand exfoliator body mask. Um, in the description, it was saying it was made of ground oatmeal, lemon peel powder, and sugar. That sounds really wonderful, and that would be awesome to try. Um, I'm not quite sure. I'm guessing like a body, a body mask exfoliator. It would be like an exfoliator that you would use, you know, obviously all over your body while you're in the shower. And maybe you just like let it sit for a bit and then rinse it off. So that, that just sounds like it would feel amazing. I saw a picture of an Aura Borealis body scrub, which was so freaking pretty. The colors on it were so, so beautiful. And it looks like the scent description on that is lemon and spearmint. Sounds amazing. Um, there was a picture of the Baby Face and Sweet Japanese Girl Solid Cleansers. Now, they have come out before. I know they've come out in the kitchen, and I know a long, long time ago um, you were actually able to buy them. And Because I remember I had the Baby Face one, and I loved it. I used it to um, take all my uh, makeup off and stuff. I used it as a makeup remover, and it was amazing. I really, really liked it. So I really wish that they would consider bringing those back. And they were they were naked products as it was, like way back in the day, they were naked products. So I'm just not sure like why they don't just, you know, bring that stuff out to, to buy all the time, especially considering it's naked. So it's already, you know, environmentally friendly. There was an under eye mask. This picture looked really interesting. It was called Mortal Kombu. Kombu is an edible kelp and it was the, the eye mask is made of seaweed and green tea. So, um, the name actually, you know, makes sense as far as it being kelp. So that's an under eye mask. I've never ever in my life, I think ever used like a, just a specifically for the under eye mask. So that's interesting. There was a picture of solid shower oils. Now we have seen the solid shower oils before at um, the summit and they never made their way to any shops or anything like that. Um, so I'm not sure if maybe they're like gonna try again or anything like that, but there was a picture of the Argon Dragon, a Coco Loco. There was the Vertical Abiyanga, which Ab Abiyanga means whole body massage. So just a standing body massage, I guess that would mean. And then there was called, there was one called Mini Masoma, which is a city in Japan that was part of the uh, Fukushima uh, prefecture. So again, I don't know. That's interesting that they were there again, the solid shower oils, but you know, we we never actually got, got a chance to, to purchase them ever. So I don't know if, you know, considering they were there at the showcase, maybe maybe we will finally see them at some point. I don't know. This is all just speculation. I hope we see some stuff, but you know, will we ever? I don't know. Then randomly, I saw some just fun pictures. There was a ticket to scrub body scrub. This was probably something maybe that um, only people who had purchased tickets could buy, you know, like, like it would be a, a showcase exclusive kind of thing, but it looked really awesome. Um, then there were some pictures of some tote bags. Uh, 
They were really cute as well. I saw a couple pictures of just different uh, tote bags. I saw a picture of some naked facial oils. There were these really pretty shimmer powders that they were in these like glass. They look like um, salt and pepper shakers. Just lots of pretty different colors. So I don't know you could if you could use like if they were like eyeshadow or just body shimmer powders or what exactly they were. I'm not entirely sure. I saw Trick Sticks Naked Concealers. They were interesting looking. And then I also saw some coffee cups. Those are all the pictures that I have currently. Like I said, I do believe today's the last day of the showcase. So there still might be more pictures like popping up and everything like that. So you guys can take a look, like I said, down in my description box. I'm gonna leave links to everybody's Instagram that I have used pictures of. I kept their names on all of the pictures too. So everyone can get full credit for me using any of the pictures that I did use. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you, like I said, were there um, and you can just shed some light on any of the products you saw, um, just to let us know like what you saw. And like I said, leave your Instagram name or your YouTube channel down in the comments so we can check out the content that you took. So anyway, I also wanted, I also wanted to say that the Christmas products are out on the Lush UK site right now. I already placed my order yesterday morning and my order has already been dispatched. So hopefully it will only be a couple of days until it arrives. And then I will have my Lush 2018 Christmas haul. So I'm so excited. There were a couple of things I did not get. Uh, so I will have to um, place another order or I'll just pick them up in, in the in my local Lush shop once they actually get Christmas stuff in but anyway I hope you guys enjoyed the video you'll have to let me know what you thought down below and I will see you guys next time